Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to another video on the channel in a somewhat snowy Pittsburgh. It's so early in the morning, and I, I, I don't know how to start videos early in the morning. We got more stuff for the F-150 here. This is over 100 pounds. That's most likely coming up later in the week. But first, cold start. Oh yeah, it sounds really good. I mean, I truly like it. It needs to be a little louder. And I think that's gonna happen soon. Well, there's gotta be a first time for everything. So this is the first time we're doing repetitive content in the new truck. <laughs> but see, it, it's just, it's not the same. It's not as loud. We need some more grunt and growl from the 21. But first off, I need some uh, more coffee. Hi, good morning, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get started for you today? All right, let's try this again. Uh, it's all right. But I just gotta say, after having the truck now 2,408 miles, about three weeks, it is by far the favorite truck out of the ones that you know we've had on the channel and we currently have, even counting the Ranger, <laughs> which we still have, by the way, although it's not sitting in the driveway. The Raptor has 13.9 inches of uh, travel in the rear for the suspension 13 inches uh, in the front and it's just an extremely good ride but I have to say even this truck with a lift and bigger wheels and tires is it's it's more comfortable maybe not as soft in the suspension but it's just Ford has done a phenomenal job in just making this truck feel premium I'm, I'm impressed man am I happy that I waited for this truck that I actually ordered and didn't like run off and buy a Dodge Oof, this thing is dirty. I mean, it's wet now, but if this was dry, which it will be here in uh, an hour, all we're gonna see here is salt, 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 because it's typical crappy Pennsylvania winter weather. And as soon as there's this much snow on the road, they dump 48 million tons of salt on the road, which is why I'm back here at Blackout Tinning. It's time to get the new truck protected. What's up, Josh? How's it going? We're back, we're back. So why don't you uh, explain to the to the people here what we're doing. To my sure, truck. so uh, we're gonna do a full front protection with Expel Ultimate Plus, yep. as well as an Expel Fusion Plus coating on Sweet. Mike's truck. So that's gonna require a lot of cleaning, of course. Yeah. And polishing. Have fun getting all the salt <laughs> over here. Sorry. Welcome to Pennsylvania. <laughs> I know. If you're not from north, somewhere oh, in north, dude. you don't know how bad it is. I mean, it's horrible. But we're gonna be polishing the paint after we clean it to perfect mirror and then we're gonna coat it after that so everything on the exterior the glass the plastic the wheels all that will get coated that is awesome Ooh. man that thing sounds good Audi SQ8 I like it talking about factory defects in cars and this one was a kind of a funny one no matter what we work on we always find something but we've never found here it is a hair inside of the light so there is paint protection film on here but that hair is on the other side of the lens we noticed it before we put the film on so right there kind of funny super minor nobody cares but interesting to show you guys Welcome back to the video, guys. We're on our way back 
to Blackout Tenning to pick up the F-150. About two days have passed. And I apologize. I have a lot more energy now. I was editing the first part of the video. And uh, I must have been really tired that day or something. That was just horrible. I'm sorry. I mean, I, this video is not going to get any views because people are just going to fall asleep because it's so damn boring. All right. So here we are once again, Blackout Tenning. And there is the truck. Oh, man. It looks so good. We got PPF in the front and the whole truck has been ceramic coated. Man, I hope this comes out on video. Look at the gloss on this thing. That is absolutely amazing. Wow, even the wheels they've done. Look at that. I mean, you can't even tell that it's wrapped. Good job, man. Thank you. Dude, it looks amazing. God, I, I was saying in the video, like, I hope this comes out, the, the glossiness on camera. Dude, it looks amazing. Once again, Josh with a good job. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I've had my Ferrari here. I even have my E60 M5 here. Yes. Dude, it's amazing. So go over exactly what you guys have done here and kind of what ceramic coat, why do you get a ceramic coating? I mean, I know, but yeah, yeah. The people might not know. And I think you can explain it better than I can. <laughs> Absolutely. So first we wash the truck and clean it really well, clay uh -huh. bar it so it's perfectly smooth. Then we polish the truck uh, to make sure any minor imperfections, swirl marks and scratches like that are removed. Right. Then we install the paint protection film on the whole front end. So the uh -huh. hood, the fenders, the front bumper, the mirrors, the headlights, the fog lights. Oh, even the headlights. Yes, sir. Nice. All of that is protected from impacts with paint protection film. Right. Then we ceramic coat everything. So the film gets coating on top of it, as well as the plastics, the glass, the face of the wheels. We do wheels off sometimes as well. I saw that. That um, looks yeah. amazing. So the coating will help keep the car look really glossy right. and clean for longer. It'll make it a lot easier to wash when you get to that point. Right. Uh, dirt, bug guts, tar, all that kind of stuff just sort of falls off a lot easier than if it wasn't coated. How would you explain the difference between Especially for old school car guys, they're used to waxing their car and stuff. So wax versus a ceramic coating. Obviously a ceramic coating will last a lot longer. Yeah, so ceramic lasts way longer. Uh, wax is filling in those micro scratches and swirl marks and that's what gives it that deep gloss. Uh -huh. We're gonna remove those defects before we put a coating on. Right. So you're not hiding anything, you're not putting makeup on it. Uh, you're sort of sealing in what you've done there. It's a real glass coating. Like if you pour this stuff out in, into a, we've done it into a bottle cap and let it cure for a couple of weeks. It creates little glass shards basically wow. like literal pieces of glass so on a car it's so thin the way we put it on it's still flexible it won't crack or anything like that but yeah uh, it looks amazing that's why i got i had it done on my other amg as well and it makes washing the car so much easier it does. especially like during winter times and stuff when you don't really want to touch it with mitts and stuff you spray it off and it comes off so much easier so i'm extremely happy man yeah. especially on a black vehicle you know oh, what yeah. i mean <laughs> that gloss it, you just can't beat it wow it looks it looks it looks better than it did on delivery day even the, the both delivery days when you know we had it lifted and the wheels and everything i'm just so pissed off with this stupid weather it's going to be dirty here pretty soon again but yeah awesome man i'm so happy what do you guys think look at this all right so there we have it the truck is done it's wrapped it's protected with a ceramic coating and i drove the amg here as we know because this car is next it's going to get a full paint correction by blackout tinting and also a ceramic coating because we do have plans for this thing right here i know i haven't made a lot of videos with it lately but uh, there's more coming and this car really needs it you can't really tell right now in this lighting and the car is dirty as well but the paint job is horrible it's got tons of you know swirl marks and that kind of thing it needs a refresh and this car is going to look amazing once it's done just look at the f-150 but again, you need a sign back here, dude. Because every time I'm putting on my camera, I want to. There's no sign. <laughs> but huge thanks once again to Josh and the whole team here at Blackout Tinning. They do a fantastic job. Tons of my friends from the Pittsburgh car scene. They come here already. These guys are the best. If you guys live in the area and you're in the market for something like this, definitely uh, hit them up. I'll leave all their stuff in the description below. But they also have a YouTube channel, so you guys have to go subscribe to their channel and. 
you guys did a video on the truck, right? We did. And the job you, that you did. So if you want to see more in depth of what goes into doing a expel wrap and the ceramic coating and so on, check out their channel. Subscribe right now. They have awesome content. Again, thanks so much, dude. Thank I you. really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yep. You guys are the best. It's time to head home in our shiny truck. At least it'll be shiny. It'll be shiny for a while, but it's gonna be dirty here in probably like five minutes, stupid PA winners. Off we go. All right, so we're home and I, I just can't stop staring at this truck. It's the gloss is just amazing. It looks so good. And I know that doing Expel wrap and, and ceramic coating and that kind of thing, it's not the most exciting content you know on a channel you know it's more fun with new wheels and you know lift kit and stuff because it's more visual i guess but i have to say that doing this is probably the most important modification or update whatever you want to call it that i've done to this truck you know a lot of people don't really see why you do the clear bra like expel wrap to protect the paint and so on and they'll argue and say that you know you're just protecting it for the next owner but i do it because it's peace of mind i know that if i get a huge stone chip it's going to hit the film and not the paint and uh, it's just going to be protecting it and the ceramic coating especially when it rains rain just beads off and it's so much easier to wash the truck and in the summertime when you get a lot of bug splashes and so on on the front end of the vehicle it doesn't stick as bad they wash off a lot easier so man i'm super happy with this like i said i think it's the most important thing i've done to the truck so far wheels and lift kit they aren't important they're just very cool <laughs> but this really makes a difference so yeah i mean i hope you guys enjoyed the video but yeah i think we're gonna wrap it up with that thanks again to blackout tinning they're awesome subscribe to their youtube channel hit them up if you're in the market for something like this and now i'm standing around talking way too much so again <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video give it a huge thumbs up if you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to please subscribe and i'll see you in the next one